I would not sit at the same table as Sergei Lavrov. That a strong statement from Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs speaking on Rosemary Barton Live. She says she will not engage in direct talks with her Russian counterpart. I believe in making sure that there can be uh, peace talks, but the role of Canada right now is to support Ukraine. Earlier this week in Washington, Krista Freeland joined allies, including the U.S. and U.K., walking out of a G20 meeting in protest to Russia's membership. Still, after two months, isolating Russia diplomatically and financially has not moved the needle. Russia regards basically Canada and other Western countries as waging a proxy war with Russia in Ukraine. As the West continues to arm Ukrainian soldiers, a push to re-establish embassies, including Canada's in Kyiv, could further inflame tensions with the Kremlin. This is an open war in the center of Europe. U.S. Navy veteran Malcolm Nance was so compelled to help, he's one of thousands who have traveled to Ukraine to help in the fight against Russia. The Russian force, and they're not an army, they're a force who drink, rape, and murder, they are taking out their entire aggression, mainly on the civilians not on the army. There are now mounting reports of sexual violence, and as the fighting rages on, Canada is pledging to raise the issue with the G7, plus work with the International Criminal Court and other institutions to document and investigate allegations. Women are used and children are used as weapons of, of war. We know that sexual violence is a lasting trauma. Two months in, Western efforts have managed to put pressure on Russia, militarily and financially. What countries like Canada have not been able to do, stop a war which takes lives every day. Travis Danraj, CBC News, Ottawa.